Welcome to the Genetic Circuit Challenge tutorial. First of all, what is a genetic circuit? A genetic circuit are genes and gene products that in response to the changes of the surroundings of the cell. Those signals can be heat, light, addition of chemicals and nutrients, and many other possible changes. For example, the lac in in E. coli can be considered as a simple genetic circuit. It regulates lactose catabolism in response to the lactose concentration in the medium. A complex genetic circuit is made of several elementary circuits. Those are under the influence of more than one signals and interrelated with each other. At a higher level, cell-to-cell -cell communication can be achieved with genetic circuits for more sophisticated functions. As the name indicates, genetic circuits are comparable with electrical circuits to a certain extent. For example, you can turn the state of a gene as on and off, depending on whether it's expressed or repressed. The construction of electrical circuits benefits from a large collection of well-characterized parts and modules, such as resistors and inductors. These can be connected to generate a complex circuit with a useful function. The design of an artificial genetic circuit follows the same general principle with basic parts such as promoters, operators, ribosomal binding sites, protein coding regions, and terminators. To get started, it's beneficial to ask yourself questions like what function will my construct serve? What issue will it tackle? These determine the genes you're going to use, which is the core of a genetic circuit. The protein coding sequences code for the amino acids of a particular protein. It can be an enzyme, a fluorescent protein, or regulatory factors such as a repressor or inducer that turn a gene on and off. A promoter is a DNA sequence upstream of a gene. It is to recruit RNA polymerase in order to start DNA transcription. The operator is a DNA sequence typically resides adjacent or overlaps with the promoter. It serves as a binding site of regulatory factors such as repressor to shield the promoter from RNA polymerase so that the transcription of the gene is prevented. In the presence of inducer, repressor can no longer attach to the operator. This allows binding of RNA polymerase. The DNA sequence of a ribosomal binding site is crucial in a genetic circuit. In the absence of a ribosomal binding site, ribosome fails to attach to the messenger RNA. With ribosomal binding site, the translation can proceed smoothly. Finally, it comes to the terminator. Without it, the RNA polymerase will keep transcribing the downstream DNA sequences, which produces faulty product. If you design a terminator at the end of the gene, RNA polymerase will dissociate just after transcribing protein coding sequence. These are the essential information for building a successful genetic circuit brought to you by SynBioSoc ECL.